Do you love semi-hydro as much as I do because you get to see the roots grow? Well, in this project, that's exactly what I'm going to do is convert this peace lily to have it grow as a water plant. If that is something that interests you, stay tuned. Welcome back to Botanical Woman, I'm Christine. And today I'm working on a project that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I've been struggling to find a glass vase that's big enough to fit this peace lily. It's actually a candle holder from Ikea um, on clearance for five bucks. So that was super a super great find. I've seen a lot of people do this and it looks really beautiful. So I'm excited and scared at the same time. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Now let's get into it. It's grown, but not loads. I feel like a lot of the roots are going to rot anyway, so I am going to give it a root trim before I put it in. There's a group online on Facebook that actually is called Hydro Life and they really encourage, I think it's actually a company in Australia. Anyway, they encourage people, this is a support network for people who want to grow their plants in water. And peace lily is definitely uh, one of the, the, you know, most experimented on. <laughs> And people really, really love water, so it's a good candidate for it. And I have to say, I haven't been like keeping up with watering it very much. It could be better. It could get more love. So I'm hoping by doing this, <laughs> by experimenting with it, it will get the proper care it needs. There's been a lot of success with peace lily converting to water life, hydro life. So I'm not super worried about losing this plant. And I got it from Ikea two years ago. <laughs> I forget for how much. I don't know, I just got really excited. I was like, yes, peace lily. And at the time I didn't really know what it was. I don't know, I've seen some peace lilies where the leaves are really big and those look pretty fantastic to me. I'm not sure if this one can actually, or is that, is this one like that? It, there's a lot of different species of peace lilies. The species the right thing? I wanna say yes. Um, there's some really cool peace lilies that are variegated, like the leaves are variegated, which is quite nice. Um, I had a chance to get one, but I decided it's okay. I don't have the ha have to have them all. And I do like the peace lily that has um, kind of like wrinkly leaves. I forget what's the name of that one. That is quite cool as well. Yeah, so on this Facebook group that I was telling you guys about called Hydro Life, somebody, I think over the weekend, posted a photo of their Hydro Life peace lily and it had so many white flowers on it, or what are they called again? I guess you call them fluorescence. It's the same thing, right? Or this, um, oh man, SP something. So we're finally getting into the middle and it's quite dense usually. So just gently work the ball of the root ball. It's quite therapeutic, I guess. Kind of caring for your plant in like this repetitive motion. And it's cool, in other words. I like using forks to do this. I don't know, what do you guys like to use? How, how do other people do this? I've heard people use toothbrushes and I was like, I don't know, how long is that gonna take? And obviously do this when it's dry rather than, you know, wet. Cause then it's just, you just get all muddy everywhere. It's like combing through hair, you know, you just slowly teasing it out. I don't know why I'm holding it. <laughs> Getting a workout. I think we've done enough so far. I'm gonna go rinse it and see how much more I can, um, of the dirt I can get off. 
We obviously had lost a lot of roots, and but I wouldn't worry about it too much um, because they're all gonna grow back. All right, let's go over there. It's like washing someone's hair at the salon. Some shampoo, ma'am. Speaking of which. I have not been to a salon in a long time. So another thing I just want to say, which is very similar to what you'll hear me say in my semi-hydro videos, is that you don't have to worry about like getting everything off the first time around. I mean, you know, you try your best, but if it's really, really stuck, you can leave it and over time as you rinse it and change the water, um, you know, the dirt will, you know, start to come off by itself. This is pretty good. I'm gonna bring it back and work on it a little bit more. I'm not gonna stress to get every single bit off. I mean, I've seen some people who turn the roots like, they, they, after they were done with it, it looked like they were brand new, like squeaky white. I, I don't know how they did that. Or maybe it was really easy, because this, is originally planted in peat, so the peat sticks to the roots. Versus like, you know, if you have a chunkier medium, it'll just fall. Most of it would just fall off. And we're back. More teasing. To see if we can get any more of the dirt off. Otherwise, I'm gonna give it a little trim. There's still some peat stuck at the very bottom, but I think I'm going to leave it. All right, I'm gonna trim these roots a little bit. Give it a little, give it a little haircut. More dirt is going to fall out every time you go and you flush it. So I'll probably flush it one more time before we actually put it in or until the water is clear. Right now I'm going to trim off the yellowing leaves and try to cut as much of the stem as possible just because it's just gonna end up dying off anyway. This um, peace lily was outside earlier in the summer. Or I should say spring, and it did get sunburned. I was trying to protect it to see if it would work, but nope, the umbrellas were not enough. I actually learned about this plant um, from that movie that we watched together. British cop movie. I'm it's the tip of my tongue. He's just a cop in a small town and like I don't know this this piece lily is in it. He takes care of it. And it comes up like again and again, like this piece lily. And then oh yeah, the thing is like, oh you can't kill it. It's a British sitcom, I guess, isn't it? It got me thinking about the plant basically, and I'm like, you know what? I think I wanna get one. I wanna see what's gonna happen to it. Is it really the plant of steel? All right, let's see how it looks. There's still some, should I cut them all off? There's still some sunburn leaves. Should we? Oh, wow. All right. I don't know, they're kind of cool. I mean, they're silvery. I kind of want to leave them. Cool. I'm going to go get my vase. I'm going to get some water in it. Okay, I'm gonna wash it up and down. Just using warm water doesn't really matter. It's better than cold water.
So there we have it. That was actually a lot easier than I thought. So I've seen people not put anything in their glass jars and it's just the root, but I noticed earlier when we were doing this, the, the roots would just sit at the bottom because of the shape of my vase, I guess. So I'm using some Leca just to help hold the plant up. What's really important to note here is where the water line is. You don't want the water to be higher than the base of the plant. Uh, otherwise, what they say is that it's going to rot. And the woman, I think it's a woman, I'm sorry if it's not, <laughs> the woman who runs Hydro Life, she has a very detailed description of what you're supposed to do every single day during its transition period. So I will link it down below and you guys can check it out. And you do add fertilizer. I'm just not sure how much I'm adding it. So I just have to go back and read that post. <laughs> so that's what you should do too. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.